Hello everyone, my name is Keshav Agarwal from grade 6 and today I'm going to teach you how to find the square root and cube root through the mental math process. So here today we are with the two charts. This is the square root and the square numbers from 0 to 9 and this is the cube root and cube numbers from 0 to 9 as well. We have these two balls. This ball has cube numbers and this ball has square numbers. Today we are going to use these both charts to find the square root and the cube root. So now let's find the square root number from this ball. So we got 4225. Now to find the square root of 4225, first we have to write. Now we have to look at the last number which will be 5. Now which number is equal to 5 over here? Of course it is 5. So we now write 5 over here and cut the last two digits. Now which number is equal to 42 without crossing it, which will be 6. So now we write 6 here, and this is the square root of 4,225. 4, now we, let's take another number, 16,384. So to find that, first we have to write it. So first we take the last number, 4. Now this is a little tricky because 2 and 8 both have 4 in the last number. So first we write both of them. Now cut the last two digits. Now the square root that is closest to 163 without exceeding it is 12. So now is it 122 or 128? So to find this, first we take the number between 122 and 128, which will be 126 square. So now, what is the, what is the square of 126? So, first, to write that, first we have to multiply 12 by its more of itself, which will be 13, which will be 156. So now, as we can see, this number is lower than, lower than the 163, so the answer will be 128. Now let's move on to the cube numbers. So now let's find the cube root. So there is our chart here. So I'll take a number. Okay, so the number is 39,304. So finding cube root is pretty easy. Because all the last numbers are all different from each other. Now, which number is the, which is the closest to 4? So over here, it is 4 itself. So we write 4. Now, instead of cutting 2 numbers, we cut the last 3 digits. So now, we are left with 39. So we use the same process. Which is the closest to 39 without exceeding it? So it is 3. So we write 3 over here. And the answer is 34 cube. So now let's take another number. So the next number is 769,349. Now to find this, what is the closest to 9 over here? So it is 9 itself again. So we write 9 over here. And cut the last 3 digits. Now we are left with 769. So now which is the closest to 769 without exceeding it? Yes, it is 9. So the answer will be 9 9 cube. I hope you understood this process. So finding the square root and cube root. Thank you.